hey guys welcome back to my channel gracious from my hair today i'm going to teach you how to suck him up like a pro okay i know you'll be wondering but you've done this topic before you can't believe i'm doing this topic again after the restriction yes i've done it before but we can't get tired talking about the topic because people still ask questions i got a lot of questions and that video that i did i felt like it's brief brief so now i'm going to give you my top five tips that you can follow the main thing that you are going to do and i'm going to do a demo again after the last video was restricted what we gotta do we gotta do something in case you're new to my channel i know you came here to learn how to get better in bed and that's what i do on this channel i talk about hygiene beauty stuff so if you're interested in such content please do consider clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up if at the end of it you found it very interesting and helpful i'm going to give you another technique another style another strategy that you can follow and suck him up like a pro that will make him squirm in the light i know you came here for one reason and that is what this topic is all about how to suck him up like approve but i'm going to give you what you came here for right now let's jump straight into this topic and get this ball rolling i'm going to be gentle with my terms with the terms that i use so that you know how the how it works whenever it comes to talking about issues of the bedroom so i hope you get to understand the terms that i use i can't really mention things the way they are but i'll make it possible for you to get and understand what i'm saying my number one tip would be lube of course you want that stick to be lubricated you don't want to rub it when it's dry you don't want to cause him injury you don't want him to be afraid of you wanting to give him bj ever again just think about it when he wants to go down on you orally and he's rubbing it on a dry surface how would you feel it's definitely going to cause you injury you're not going to enjoy it it is not pleasing so you're not going to do the same thing to him baby so you're going to lubricate but you'll be wondering why would i lubricate when i'm going oral am i supposed to swallow lube no the number one lube you can use is your saliva make sure you put enough of it your hands that you're going to use your mouth because you can't just doing a bj with just your mouth your hands have to get involved in this so you're supposed to put enough lube and that would be the saliva but if you're someone that don't really like the smell of saliva because saliva everywhere everywhere and then your mouth your whole body your hands everywhere is oozing of saliva scent if you don't want it you can go with lube you can use flavored loops water-based loops i don't know the one that is best but flavored loops for your mouth just go with the lube that you're comfortable with right if you're not comfortable with lube like me i don't like lube but if i feel like the saliva is not giving me what i want that is not enough i can go with coconut oil of course coconut oil would do just it but not exactly it will still do the work for you i think i'm okay with saliva it does the trick it does the magic for me if you know how to use it well and if your oral hygiene is a top notch your saliva is not supposed to be smelling like what you wouldn't want to perceive you get me so the number one trick is use lube it can do wonders it will make the work much more easier and as far as the saliva has gone round, you can blow on that wet patch that cooling sensation that he's going to get is going to have him squirming in the light my number two tip would be your hands some of us feel like when giving bj that our hands is not supposed to be work because it's not a hand job it's EJ, you know your hands should be involved it goes hand in hand your hands can actually help you to control your gag reflex hold it light you can go with just one hand you can place one go with two you can go with three you can even go with everything if you can manage the situation i love going with all my hands like this just one hand you're squashing it softly gently as you're massaging it from the roof to up, the tip is where your mouth is placed. Now it looks like this. You're trying to massage it with your hands and then your mouth is doing the trick that it's going to do on the cap. Then if you're comfortable going with two hands, you can go with two hands and then here is holding the down part and here is holding the upper part and then only the cap is remaining and then that is your mouth. It's going to look like this. Your mouth is doing the trick that it's supposed to do. So you are squeezing this this way and you're squeezing with this hand the other way. I love going with just one hand. 
and all this can do the trick go with it and i'm squeezing it it's as if you're doing a massage with one hand there's so much work to be done in this thing but they don't even realize what we're doing they think it's a joke your mouth is doing the trick that it's supposed to do and then the other hand you can actually use it to massage the balls where this hand is going to help you is that once you've used your two hands to hold the down part the middle shaft and then the cap is remaining and then you're controlling the amount of the joystick that goes into your mouth this will actually control your gag reflex especially if you don't know how to deal with that gag reflex my third tip is tongue tricks the tongue is actually doing so much you can use your tongue to start up the engine before you move the car when it comes to that cap there is a part it looks like a cross design the frenulum then you're using your tongue to do trick when you're about to start flick it up and down side to side you can even go round on it it's helping you to hold it firmly the tongue is actually preventing your down teeth from biting that when your top mouth is covering the top teeth from getting in the way if you want to prevent yourself from deep throating you can actually take that stick in and then put it right here in your mouth it gets to hit here it's going to look like you have a lollipop inside your mouth that's what it's going to look like now my number four trick is the balls what am i going to do with the balls make sure you don't leave the balls out of this this is an important part that place is very very sensitive but you're going to be very gentle when you're working on it you can use your hands on it you can still use your mouth on it now how do you use your hands when you're using one hand to work on the shaft then your thong is working on the frenulum limb and the cap and then one hand the other hand is gently massaging softly as if you're massaging an egg you can just hold it in your hand and then bounce it a little you can just hold it in your hands if you want to use your tongue to do some trick on it put it in your mouth and then it sounds like you can use your tongue and lick it you can even kiss it you can even bite it but if your partner requests some people love biting but even if you bite it is very gentle make sure you don't leave the balls out of this walk your way down to the balls and make him scream your name my last tip would be enthusiasm if you're someone that have so much pleasure in giving a bj then everything is fine you know how you do it you have that eagerness to work on that thing if you're someone that don't like bj then you have to try nobody wakes up one morning and starts loving it everybody had a first time when they tried it and some people after trying it they enjoy doing it if you want to make yourself feel enthusiastic about doing it whenever you know that you're about going into the moment try and think about it prepare your mind for it try and think about the crazy and dirty things you you want to do to him that will make him go wild you have to try and make yourself to start loving it try and enjoy what you do try and put yourself in the mood like have that keenness that eagerness to do it you are going to deliver more your main purpose is not to make him please just come let me let me lie down your reason should be that you enjoy doing it and then you want to have fun doing it if you can fake it till you start loving it it's fine these are my top five tips and i hope i was able to explain to you how to give a better bj with these tips and i hope this is definitely going to help you if you still have any question that is relating to bj make sure you leave your comment down there below on the comment section if you've not yet subscribed what are you waiting for support my channel subscribe like this video share my content share this video to people that really need to see it i'm going to see you in my next video right